Welcome to the Hungry Holiday Kitchen. I'm Sandy and this is Crystal and we're the hosts of the Casserole Queens. And today we're gonna make some delicious holiday snacks for you. We've got a hot chocolate and a peppermint marshmallow, all made from scratch. We're gonna add a half a cup of water. I also am gonna add a half a cup of corn syrup. It's really gonna allow this mixture to stay elastic. It's an important ingredient in keeping this marshmallowy. Couple of cups of sugar in there. And you always need a little bit of salt to counterbalance the sweet. It just actually makes it a little bit sweeter. We're starting on low because we want all the sugars to dissolve and become this nice clear mixture. And then we're gonna put up to medium high and go for it. Now it's all yours, mama. <laughs> Thank you, can I have that water now? You can. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the rest of this cold water, half a cup, add three packets of unflavored gelatin. This is what gives the marshmallows its form so it will stay and it will mold very well. Let that uh, gelatin absorb all the liquid and it's gonna become very sponge-like. Mmm, sponger. Mmm, spongerific. I'm just gonna add two cups of peppermint candies. We're gonna use it for dusting the outsides of our marshmallows. We are gonna put a little bit in for flavoring, but we're just gonna pulse this up because we do want it to be pretty fine. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh yeah, see look at all that smoke, magic. <laughs> mm. Take about a half a cup of this mixture. We're gonna add some peppermint extract to that and this is just gonna give that great peppermint flavor throughout the marshmallows. Peppo minty. That's right. Three fourths of a teaspoon. I know, you smell that? I'm just coming over <laughs> to sniff you. <laughs> Going up to 240, you're gonna want a candy thermometer here. It's very specific. We're at 240, kill this heat here, and then come over and pour this in. This is really hot, guys. Just be mindful of it. It's a very pretty translucent sugar mixture there. It's like glass, <laughs> boiling glass. Very, very hot glass. <laughs> so we're just gonna put this on the mixer. Start it at low because this is very hot. Yep. You don't wanna splatter that all around. Give it a few minutes to get incorporated, and then we're just gonna turn it on high and let it sit for about six minutes. Oh yeah, we got fluff. This is my favorite part, actually. I would just eat this. <laughs> Add our peppermint extract and crushed peppermints that we did a little bit earlier. It's just gonna give a marshmallow a great peppermint flavor throughout. Gonna fold that in. We're gonna put this into our favorite dish. What we've done is sprayed it with cooking spray and then lined it with a plastic wrap. This helps pop it out without a lot of drama. Take some just confectioner sugar and coat the bottom pretty liberally. Right. Oh, Crystal, look how shiny and beautiful that is. I know. That red is just kind of popping. Popping and locking. Popping and locking, I'm gonna try it. Oh, uh, peppermintastic. Top it with some more powdered sugar. <laughs> this is gonna go into the fridge and set. You want, to, you want to chill it down. What that's gonna do is help it to cut cleanly and really hold its shape. What is marshmallows without hot chocolate? <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's so easy to make it yourself. Take 3 fourths cup of cream. And a fourth a cup of milk. Add our vanilla teaspoon. So simple, isn't it? Two teaspoons of sugar. And then I'm just gonna put about four ounces of chocolate. Maybe a little bit more. A little more. Maybe <laughs> you like it a little bit more rich. I'll just use a bread knife to get through this chocolate. Yeah, with like a regular knife, it's a hot mess. Yeah, it's a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Nothing ugly about that. Our marshmallows are nice and set, ready to be cut and dipped in our powdered up Peppermint, flip this out onto our board and start to cut. All right, try not to make a mess. Oh, I can't make any promises. Just do it, do it sexy. Oh, oh that was really pretty good. good job. And look how clean that comes uh, out. And we'll start to cut. But a good tip for this is a little bit of cooking spray, and it's gonna help to go through. We're gonna cut these into about an inch. Look at the great colors that come out of that. So uh, beautiful, so perfect. I love it, love it, love it. And cut them into squares. All of this peppermint that Crystal ground up earlier just roll them in, but look at that, into the peppermint. It makes them festive, it adds a nice level of crunch on the outside. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. The fruits of our labor. <laughs> look at that. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. To my co-queen. Mmm, that is so good. So oh, yeah. chocolatey. Ooh, you get the peppermint off the top of it, don't you? <laughs> So light and fluffy. So, so good. From the Hungry Holiday Kitchen to yours, happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>